Your soul shall be mine for Doomhammer. Come on. Oh boy. Oh. Please be Hemlock, I guess. He threw away all four. I, well, I don't know what that means. It's usually more of a Hemlocky type thing to do. Now nah, that's ridiculous. At least I've got the storm. Which it looks like I'm gonna cast on turn three. Hopefully he plays two more guys with two health. That would be the dream. Or maybe plays two young priestesses and the young priestesses buff themselves. Put this apple on your head. Well, that's pretty dreamy. Alright, I'll take that. A good old three for one. This 1-1 one, one totem could be good. You shall not pass. Do you need a blessing? This is good against the young priestess, but he's got a she's got a bodyguard. Okay. We must cleanse the sunwell. Choices here. My shield for Argus. Probably uh, end up hexing Tazdingo there. Want to be Tazdingo? Pretty scary. Uh, two four. He doesn't have any obvious way to deal with it. We need to get the presence out there. I mean, he's got an obvious way to deal with it, but at least that means Tazdingo can be fire elemental. My shield for Argus. Thanks. Yeah, well, that's a trick. Too bad. The fire elemental can uh, deal with those guys. Man, these hexes are just such dead cards. Mostly. You shall not pass. The lockdown. Why do you call? The seven six will become a seven two. No, I can't hit one of the. Things that. Alright. Hit the Void Walker. My shield for Argus! Yeah, is, those are pretty big taunts. That's a really big shield there. How did this happen? <laughs> oh man. The history of the shield there. So no Leroy's and no Doom Guards have been drawn so far. Uh, if I use the axe to kill that guy, then I'll be down to two. Which means I have to hex that, so that's two, five, eight. And then I die to mm -hmm. quite a lot of things, but yeah, at least I'm not dead. Elements guide me. Feral spirits when we If I just get a turn. But pretty dire straits indeed. Well played. Oh, no well played. Oh, 
so close, and yet so far. You tease me, Keeper. Now, apparently there is a huge request to buy a pack. Alright, let me buy one pack. Since I've got the arena money. The pack. Well, oh, you guys gave me really bad advice. That is the worst pack. Good night. Alright. A nice, soft druid to fight with first. Obviously, you gotta ooze the uh, druid's weapon early on. This is actually a pretty good hand. I like it. Nice, got even better. It's a slightly um, different card. Maybe it's a pagel replacement. I can wait and finish all. Oh, well, more pagel is the pagel replacement. One of the two. Wow, that guy still got his gold pagel. Oh, well, it's gonna get one chance. Miss. I haven't seen a pagel, I think, during this entire run. I might be wrong, but. Pretty much rip pagel. Alright, so Axe managed to, uh, assist in the takedown of Pagel, assist in the takedown of Drake, and kill a loot hoarder. Way to go, Axe. That Axe. I must safeguard the map. Tempted to throw a lightning bolt, but don't think it makes too much sense. Running awfully low on cards. The opponent has quite a few more. Hmm. Five against my three. Same board, roughly. If I earth shock it, but spell damage would be nice. Looks like Earth Shock's the way. Or I could just hit it with the guy. Earth Shock is essentially going to be used for Heal My Yeti for two. And I got the Taunt Totem. The Healing Totem would have been nice. Yeah. I, think I feel like I gotta save this card since I'm already low on cards. The cards. The cards. They speak to me. I must safeguard the man. <laughs> Get to dig for a uh, spell damage to admit again. Hmm. Can use the flame tongue in conjunction with the lightning bolt. The downside is that it is quite bad against Druid of the Claw, and it's not that efficient. Hmm. What to do? I'll hold. This causes the loss of the uh, taunt totem, but. And the other one would also cause loss of taunt to him. At least I don't lose a flame tongue. I'm sort of just in a holding pattern waiting for the uh, spell damage to him. So I can throw the lightning storm up in the air. Now it's worth a try. If he puts a guy drew the claw in charge mode now, at least my spell damage totem can take it out with the lightning bolt. This card advantage has grown the and it's plus two on me. Wild growth to speed out to ten. Interesting. Well, this card advantage is now only plus one. But something wicked this way comes, maybe. My shield 
Alright, so I got some questions from competitions slash the general chat. Not entirely sure where they're coming from, but anyways. Competition asks, Where do you see the Hearthstone tournament landscape heading over the next few years? Do you believe we will see large open tournaments with six-figure higher, payout, higher payouts like other sports, esports? Thanks and good luck on your grind to Legend. It's so unknown right now that I have no answer. I do think that it's growing though, and we've seen that trend, and I think that um, as sets are released in the future, things will be even better. Come on, actually, I'm not looking for any totem in particular. I was going to hope for that one, but it's pointless. I do have to burn these two cards on Scenarius, which is a value Scenarius. Hex and Lightning Storm. That's a reasonable answer for me, and I guess speaks to how good Scenarius is in this matchup. I dream and this late game Ramp Druid. Seems to be really good against the control matchup. I don't know how it survives in the uh, aggro mirror though. Scenarius Anderson. Ooh. Uh oh. Ouch. This slide. Feels like the warrior control deck. It's just uh, I get the best deals slightly different flavor. Come on, healing. Hmm. Optician also asks, Trump, have you ever considered doing pre-scheduled ask me almost anything uh, sessions? Yeah, I've thought about it. I actually have done it before. A little busy right now. Got to make it to a uh, legend. Not much time left. Sweet, it's a laughing sister. Ha! I laugh at you. Because you got laughing sister. Alright, so that'll reduce it to 2 health. And then I can axe it. Cool. For. And I draw a card. Nice. My gadget fan really helped me out. And the Earth Shock is exceptional. The one damage will allow the Argent Commander to finish off this. Which is nice as well. Ah, oh, I didn't get the healing totem. That's too bad. Well, the one damage from the uh, searing totem. We'll do it then. I wonder if um, with all these legendaries you can actually run Savage Roar plus Force of Nature. I'm leaning towards no, but I'm not 100% sure. Ooh. Alright. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to use two guys. Well, unless I draw something with this, which is probably likely. Possibly likely. I'd rather get Totem or Swamp Ooze. Totem, since I'm running out of cards. The Totem was somewhat preferable. I am dead to the combo, but can he actually run the combo with a deck with so many heavy costs? I'm just going to assume he doesn't have it.
Where shall I strike? <laughs> Be helpful to get the healing totem. I'll aim for it since it's 50 50. Also, if I get the 1 1 totem, you can't take it off the hero ability, which is helpful. So, 3 plus that, and this, and this. Mana Tide. I do want to play it earlier, but getting the healing totem right now is actually somewhat important. Briggsy asks, uh, would a free-to-play hunter deck work in ranked mode with the red cards? Yeah, pretty much the only thing it would miss is Leroy. Which is definitely a thing, Leroy is very good in that hunter deck. But it would just be a slightly less good deck. That's about it. Although it's hard to say just how much worse it would be without Leroy. I will play this uh, Mana Tide, and I'll put it near the center because I might want to uh, sack it. I know I have a Flame Tongue Totem in here still. Draw a card a little bit earlier. Still helps, not that afraid of the fatigue, even though it definitely could get down to it. Part of me is uh, frightened that it could eventually come down to the Savage Roar Force of Nature action, but... Whoa. Holy crap! How are you running all these big cards? I mean, that might be... I might explain the low legend rank, but... Wow. That is one super focused against control deck. And I'm really surprised he didn't hit me for four there. That uh, probably uh, means he doesn't have a way to finish me. Kind of. I'm gonna choose not to lose anything on this go. Elements guide me. Would have been nice to get a taunt though. Hopefully that doesn't lose me the game. Not getting a taunt. It's force of nature now beats me, but I figure if uh I hope I didn't lose the game on that 50-50 flip. That's sort of a thing. Although I think the totem tangle is enough to take him out. Eh, although he'll probably kill that one. Oh, that's a mistake. Two, four, seven, two, five, eleven. Do the totem tangle. I mean, you could always use the earth shot, but the lightning bolt and all that, but. I like to kill based on what's on the board. Woo. Victory or death for Doomhammer. I'm actually tempted to keep mana tied, but that's real greedy. Uh It's the type of thing I want to draw later. It's just against Control Warrior, it's so good. I mean, it's not 100% to be Control Warrior, but it's like, I'd say, 90% to be. <laughs> Greetings. Greetings, friend. Let's see, Rafa Blizz asks, Hey Trump, what is your hint for hitting rank 1 or legendary? Uh, play a good deck and play well. I don't really have much past that. You get better by uh, playing yourself or watching other players play and then just try to internally or outwardly vocalize what your moves would be, compare it with them. That's generally my advice on how to improve. Adoption Clinic asks, what are your thoughts on Unleash the Hounds? Do you think it is balanced, OP, etc.? 
Uh, there's actually a thread on the Hearthstone subreddit about Unleash the Hounds, and my general feeling is about the same as uh, theirs. Uh, I'm... It's a card that infuriates me a little. That's that's weird to say, isn't it? Like, it infuriates me a little. Alright, if I uh, miss the spell damage totem, I think I have to Earth Shock this guy. Or I could uh, take the pain for one turn. I'm just hoping to get the spell damage. I mean, if I get a taunt, I'll probably pass, though. Alright, none of them. Yeah, it'll hit me for six if I don't. And I have no obvious way of clearing it in the future. It's a slight problem to use an Earth Shock on the frothing, since it means I can't use it on Cairn. Oh, anyways, where was I? So, Unleash the Hounds. Uh, the main problem is the card is what makes the entire Hunter deck viable. Without the card, they're substantially less good. And with the card, they're yes, substantially better. Speak to me. It's a tough design spot. Like in an ideal world, I would nerf that card and then buff several other uh, Hunter cards. But that's difficult to pull off. Pickle Gunner asks, Trump, do you think that Ragnar should be made into a 9 cost minion instead of the current 8 cost? Um, I think it's f okay at 8. It's pretty powerful, but it's not very good against aggro as it turns out. We would probably still see some play at 9. Maybe. But no, I don't think it needs to be changed. Let the pain speak to me. To Northrend! Victory or death! Yeah, prevent the double whirlwind nightmare. Pandas asks, uh, Dear Trump, if you were to put Alakir in your deck, what would you take out for it? Well, the main problem with the Alakir edition is it's similar to a Bloodlust edition. Now? It's uh, mainly good against control, with slight, slight differences. Uh, it's hard to say what I would take out for it. Um, I'm not sure, off the top of my head. There's a lot of interchangeable cards, and they all hurt to lose. I'm a little reluctant to play the Mana Tide Totem just because... Alright, so I should... No, that won't work either. Unfortunately, I have to burn a Hex on the uh, Cairn, which normally seems like a really good thing to do, but... There's so many Hex targets, that's why I was reluctant to use the Earth Shock earlier. Rock Hex? It's four, and I guess I can play Mana Tide, but I'm scared of the armor smith getting cruelled. Could play the Stormforge, and then uh, two, five, six. This also feels like a bit of a waste, but I'll live. Clears the way for a mana tide totem layer, is the main reason. Alright, uh, going back to the Alkira question, I'd probably take out an Argent Commander for it. Uh, it would be slightly better against control, and slightly worse against uh, aggro. Can you do anything with a zero one frog? Elements Not really, but Alright. I think I cleared off that frog earlier. Turns out that small play will matter here. Otherwise, I could not clear rag this turn. I'm not too concerned about dropping down to 17 health. It means I dodge Alexstrasza. Although, it is a bit scary to be this low. But the Ragnaros has been used, so that's slightly less concerning. Ah, nice. Baron Geddon. 
Hmm. That one I can't deal with right now. Three, five, nine might be good. It is ugly. This game is really pretty. He hasn't played any whirlwinds yet, and that would be a fine answer here. Uh, but it does make his guy uh, down to 3 health, which uh, should be answerable. Ugh, the gore hell. Wow, he runs cleave. No point in attacking with that. I look to be forced to... I mean, unless he executes, which I don't think would be unreasonable either. 3, 6, 8, 5, 8, 10. I need the card draw. More than I need the buff. I wonder. I got the best deals anywhere. Pretty ugly situation. Nasha 10 points out that when I added a faceless uh, to the mage deck, it helped against these legendaries, and that's true. However, the it was a slightly different metagame with less aggro. Uh, the hunters and the warlocks, and uh, mostly those two, and some random paladins. Faceless does uh, hold that same general goodness, but... Oh, thank you. Kind of. Not really. Where was I? Faceless improves the matchups, but decreases the matchups against others, and I'm not sure I'm willing to do that. Three, six, seven. A little bit of luck necessary. Also, if I get Gromish plus uh, Comboed, I'll lose. And he hasn't played very many Taskmasters. I wonder. He also hasn't played as a Brawl yet. I'm gonna need a little bit of luck here. Actually, substantial amount of luck. Oh no, it needs to hit one of the 50 50s. Ideally, both. Okay. We'll use both. And then the amount of luck I'm going to need is, uh, hopefully he doesn't have Gromish. Well nah, too bad. Well Unless he's just complimenting me. Thanks to Scumbag Matematica, says, uh, Trump, you're an awesome streamer. Wish you luck. I hope one day I can play in Legend with you. Way to go. What do you think is the hardest hero to do a free-to-play deck? It would be Priest. I'm not going to try. Let's see, Tangent asks, is Antonidas good in mage decks in general? You'd have to build a specific one, I think. It turns out to be good if you can play Antonidas in two spells on the same turn, but that is a late game oriented deck. And the good news is, he apparently does not have the, uh, Gromish Hellscream right now. The bad news is that Gore House killed three guys. I'm gonna take some damage here. Putting me down to five. Uh, Gromush was gonna kill me anyways. He has played out most of his uh, legendaries, with the notable exception of Gromish. And Ysera. Although, uh... Ysera, I do have an answer to Ysera. It is just a matter of time though before he draws the Gromish. I'm sure he has an enabler in his hand. So I'm on this uh, pseudo clock here to find taunts or to kill him in time. 
quite unfavored to win. Is there trouble? My blade be thirsty. Nah, attacking probably means he has the fiery war axe as one of the other two cards. Which means I'm at one. Or less if he has the uh at least this is an okay draw. Taunt. Oh. Would have been nice. Good chance I lose here. Fire War Axe plus Taskmaster is actually my guess. Yeah, or just good old Gromish. He didn't have an enabler. I see. Hey, Golden Bloodlust. 